Wow. It's been six days, almost a week, since I last played Vaporum. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Vaporum Lockdown. In the last video, we made our way into hydroponics, the other areas of it that had been flooded with the contaminated, polluted air being vented from uh, their experiments with fumium gas. We need to find several things in order to create the food we'll need to reach the capital island. We need some fumium enhanced fertilizer, which we found the pieces we need for that, the ingredient to accelerate or put the fumium in, into the ground. We need the seeds for the shane berries, which is why we are here. And we also need to turn on the water, and that might require going to a different location. We've only found one of the five secrets on this floor as well. That's not promising for us. And I was getting frustrated at the end of the last episode because I want more combat and I want less puzzles in this game. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I haven't played the game in, in almost a week because I'm like, oh... Do I want to sit and do more puzzles on screen and just look like an idiot for however long it takes me to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing? When really, I just want to—I want to fight more creatures in this game. We've got 31 repair kits for crying out loud. I haven't had—I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should have played on hard after all. So I want to reach that. How do we reach that? So I. Need to get one of these crates over this hole. But it can't be this one. It, it can't be this one at all. Okay, so then how do I do this? There's this crate. But I would have to get on the other side of it. Which I can't do. There is a door right here. Can we open this door? No. Or at least not. I don't see a way to do it. Alright. So then let's look for a secret. Or some sort of knob. Or switch. Or maybe a wall. We can destroy in this area. And... Viewer, we'll just have to talk to each other for a little bit. I know you've been dreading this. <laughs> the, the pandemic has really brought everyone's attention to the fact that it's really awkward to sit around uh, friends and family that uh, you don't talk to all the time and suddenly have to come up with things to talk to them about. And n no one likes doing it, right? If I shut this, does that open this door? It does not. So what are we going to talk about? Because I don't have anything written down. And I'm already stuck. Already. So, okay. If I push this over here, I can pull it as far as here. But then that's as far as it goes. And there's nothing else I can do about it. I can't... I have to get to the other side of it, which I simply cannot do. Uh, we don't have the other battery either. It's not on me. We do have a seed vault key. Maybe that can be used someplace behind me. Let's see. So there was a key here. So let's head south and investigate it. So I'm playing a few games off screen, everyone. I'm not recording these games that I'm playing. Well, I am recording games I'm playing, but I'm not recording uh, these two games. I was playing Alder's Blood for a little bit, and I don't know if I mentioned it in this playlist. That was a secret we found. It reminds me a bit of... <coughs> What's it called? It reminds me a bit of Invisible Ink, where you have a group of hunters. You're supposed to lead through various levels, avoiding horrific creatures from like another dimension and complete your tasks you can kill the enemies 
but doing so gives you corruption, and over time, all of your people gain corruption anyway. Corruption's a mechanic like in Darkest Dungeon, I think, where the longer you go without corruption, I'm sorry, the longer, goes the longer that you these heroes exist, the more they pick up, until eventually they break, they snap, and at that point, they can become a danger to, well, uh, anyone. Any of the other hunters you have with you. And so, there's no way to cure the corruption. So, after a while, you have to sacrifice your hunters, killing them. And this converts their experience points to experience points to a different hunter that is the target of the sacrifice, the ritual. And I like, it's kind of a neat idea. I know from reading the forums that many people didn't like it very much. Um, they didn't want to have to kill people that they invested so much time in. But I like the mechanic. Your, your new hunters then uh, begin at a higher level and without any, uh, any corruption. And so this gives you a chance to level them up. And so as long as you're not losing hunters to misplays, you will slowly begin gaining higher and higher level hunters. How on earth do we get in here? How do we do this game? I just, I just, please, I just want to make some progress without needing to spend another 30 minutes running around the level, staring at walls, looking for what levers I'm supposed to push. So I can't do anything here. What's, so we, we gotta go back in that room. We have to do something with those boxes. I don't know what we're supposed to do with those boxes, but something has to be done. Let's go and look at this together. Another game I'm playing is Cosminator. And it's a really fun twin stick shooter. It's one of those old like flight games. So you're flying a spaceship. It's a, it's a side, it's like a top down scroller, dodging enemy bullets, missiles, destroying the, all the enemies, getting power ups and uh, leveling yourself up. And it's great, I really like it. Though I wish I played it on normal, not on veteran. Enemies feel a little too beefy there. How on earth do I do this? I've just been five minutes walking around and nothing has happened. There has been absolutely no progress. I really, really don't want to go back into the room that has the Invincibugs. I really don't want to do that. Did I maybe not get that treasure chest? Is there like another battery here that I need? There. So that is, is that shut or open now? That's shut. And that's pretty easy. I feel like we already took whatever was in here. And we did. Okay. So I'm I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Oh. Maybe that maybe if I shut that, that opens it something over here. No. Can't do anything here. There's nothing to destroy. Oh my god! Alright. I'm gonna go off screen, everyone. I'll be back. Oh my god! The game wants me. The game, I'm pretty sure, wants me to push this into this room. Because it's the only way I'm getting around it. All right, so let's push a bunch of buttons and flip a bunch of levers to make this a thing that happens. So, we need to do that first. Actually, I might as well leave before I do that. We might as well leave that open in case I need to step in there for some reason. I can't imagine why I would need to, but I don't know anymore. There we go. Let's go and get the box. So yeah, so I I think... No, you don't want to do this, Tim. You want to pull it in there, I, I think. Do I? 
Because you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're not pulling it in there. You have to push it. I hate this! <laughs> I hate how much time is wasted when you mess up. It's just so effing annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying. Alright. Can I do this? Am I allowed to push the block through the fire? Is that a thing I can do? I, I have to reach the button. So, I kind of need to do this. I hope it doesn't catch on fire. Okay. Wooden crate does not catch on fire. Now we can push it out. Now we're behind it. Now we can push it in the other direction. That's <laughs> why one might... How to describe this. So, Vaporum 1 had puzzles, but it didn't have as many as this. It, I feel like there weren't as many, and there was a good amount of combat that took place between them. In this game, I could go for, there's like hours where it's just puzzles. And I don't think I like that. It's It makes it different than a lot of the other grid-based games, but it feels like this is like the the great machine sometimes it, this feels like a puzzle game at points rather than a a grid based combat game which is what i was hoping for oh we should probably throw this to him if i get pinned okay whatever we get a phono diary. Whatever. Whoever reported to the Bureau, they don't have a thing on me. Some useless protocols were ignored, and some slow procedures were skipped, so what? All we do here is breathe the Bureau's mantra, progress above all. If there's anything to fear, it's the investigation team that's very likely to come back with Marcus, along with some elite peacekeepers. I know Marcus omitted certain details in his reports to protect me, to keep us running, maybe even to make me happy. Smitten fool who still loves me. Me, who's ready to pay the highest price, to sacrifice even him, my beloved husband. I recalibrated the tower cannons to attack any ship in range, even the Supreme Bureaus. Nothing will stand in my way now. The project must go on. No. Marcus will be here any day now. I can't let that happen. I must find my way out of the tower and warn him before his ship is shot to pieces. How on earth does this work? Okay, it's n I guess it's not what I th thought. We have to push the box into here. Oh my god! Whoever <laughs> decided this is the most efficient, effective, non-frustrating way to move boxes, they should be shot in the face. Why is Evaporum's entire functionality designed in such a miserable way? <laughs> T 
Tim, why are you even grabbing that? Why are you grabbing that? There must be a reason. Is it to push it down here? Why? What would that do? Maybe there's a secret behind that. I just instinctively went to, I just instinctively went to the box. Okay, while I'm here, let's look for secrets really quick. The other battery. Battery box three. Oh, okay, that powers down. I'm about to say, that's the third box. What is that power? Oh, that powers the thing behind us. Now that you're off. Are there any secrets here? No. Feels like there should be. I don't even know why I'm... I th Wait. Okay. Well, that needs a key. And then probably a destroyed door. Unless there's a secret here that does something. I really feel like there's something here. A few more seconds, everyone. We'll look for one more minute together. Really? There isn't anything? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Alright, let's check the pillar and the railing. Sometimes the game might put a secret there. Nope. Alright, there's nothing. I don't know why I would want this box. I guess it was just in the way to make it a little tricky to reach it. All right, well, we have the other battery now. Thank God. Let's go ahead and put that into the battery receptacle location. Which is not this one, right? That's the generator. We've powered that off from the other side. Oh. Wait, but this one's active. What does this do? Nothing. Oh, right. Okay, yes. That's right. That shoots that. Okay. So, where is the other receptacle located? I know we've seen it before. This is not it. That's the one that's powered. It must be on the other. Oh, there it is on this side. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't badmouth the game. I'm having fun playing it. I I do like the Vaporum series. I just I wish there was more combat. And I wish there was less health kits. Maybe I should have played maybe I should have played this on hard. I don't know though. I'm worried hard doesn't add more enemies. It just makes more enemies more bullet spongy. And they're, they're tough enough as it is to deal with. All right. Good riddance to that box. Now, where'd it go? Do you think? I'm assuming I have to do that. Oh, well, oh, hold on, Tim. It is, reach, re it is reaching the receptacle. Can I step into the teleporter? It echoes very oddly in this location. 
I'm back. It stopped. It finally stopped. After an eternity of being dragged through the strangest of places, stretched through the tiniest fractures of reality, after wandering through the timeless blackness among the stars, it seems to have stopped. I don't recognize this place, but I think I'm back on the Arks. It must be the Arks. I can hear their voices. They talk about me. I scream back, scream and scream, but they don't ever respond. I feel Harlan's presence when the whizzing sound of rematerialization zaps around somewhere out there in the walls. He must be running around in the teleportation routes. Are you looking for me, buddy? I really think it stopped for good, but the pain, the excruciating pain never goes away. It's as if something is eating its way out of my stomach, burning away my innards, sprouting... If you find this note before you find me, Harlan, I might have become something else. Entirely. Dwayne Hobbles, Test Subject 42. Brenner Helm. So our current helm is 35 integrity plus 3 tech, restores damage taken as integrity. This helm has a chance to block incoming direct attacks, reducing their damage and re reflect a portion of damage back to melee attackers. A 25% chance of doing that. Oh my god, we want all three pieces of this. Oh, this is the first set item I'm seeing. So, we lose three tech, but we pick up 50 integrity. We lose the ability to recover energy uh, from damage taken, but we have a chance to block and reflect damage back. Yeah, you know what? We're taking this. All three pieces gives us 5 combat, 5 tech, 5 toughness, 50% repair power, and 15% total damage. We'll read about it when we have all the set pieces. Assuming we find them all, which is not guaranteed. Oh. That's interesting. I wonder if he became one of these criers. You're not really, if I say, you're not really invisible when I put dot effects on you. I wonder if that was him. So that wasn't the same guy I thought it was at the end of the first game in the super secret teleportation area. I like it. It makes sense. So there was no teleporter here for him to get out of this room. And he could not get through anything in this little chamber either. There was no way for him to get back. He starved to death or changed into that horrific monster. Poor guy. Okay, so both of the things are on, and we sent the beam of light to wherever it needed to go, but I think we have to do that again. Uh, <laughs> no, 
No! Another box! Okay. Where's our box? All the way down there. Okay. Maybe we're just saying, why do you need this box? Maybe we don't need it, but nope. You totally need this box. Go ahead and get your butt. Pushing slash pulling this thing. In the face. The person should be shot in the face. Multiple times to make sure that they are killed. As many times as it takes. Oh my god, this isn't the right way. Tim, you're bringing it right back where you where it started from. That's not what you want to do. You want to push it down this way. Now it needs to go there. So that means I need to get around it. Who puts so many pits in this place as well and fills them with spike traps? <laughs> who's, who's behind the engineering of this structure? There must be a secret or two somewhere here. We've seen that treasure chest. It it calls to me, everyone. We're going to find a way to get to that together. Somehow. Oh! Fumium capacitor. Holy crap, I forgot these things even exist. A tech fuse and a repeater. Uh, we're not really interested in a single-handed pistol. I think we'll leave behind our old helmet. I'm not... Oh, I guess I should hold on to the advanced trainer. But I'm probably never going to use it. Oh, hold on. We have so many repair kits that I don't really need to use the tech fuse. Let's level ourselves up. Okay, what was I working toward? Blocking or elemental conductor? I guess as I put a point into blocking, we should probably wrap it up. Stun on successful block sounds fun. So does dealing damage back to the melee attacker. That would give us a second stun. You know what? Let's take let's take the stun. Stuns the enemy on a successful block. And it gives us a plus 30% block chance. 
Oh, that's always possible. That always happens, too. So that, that probably plays in with my helmet as well. Even no, another reason why I want the, uh, our helmet now to be that. Okay, so what are we doing? I want that chest. I know. So I see there's another secret. Actually, we should check this place for secrets. There might be another secret someplace in this place. I'm not obsessed. You're obsessed. Viewer. It's because I know you're expecting me to find all of them. That's, that's why I'm here looking for all of them. Normally, I wouldn't do this. Nope. Can't prove it. Actually, you can. You could probably look at my, like, my, uh... All the other grid-based games I've played where I spent way too long looking for secrets to get 100% secrets found. Okay, nothing else here. Well, I guess we're taking the Shane Berries. Seeds of a genetically cultivated plant. Now, how do I reach that other chest? <laughs> That's instinctively the very next thing I want to know. How do I get there? So, I want to go off screen? Yes, I do. I'll be right back, everyone. I give up. I give up. I only look for like five minutes and I'm like, you know what? I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Actually, I care a lot. I'll look it up online and if it's not too much work, I may come back here to do it. But in the meantime, let us continue with our adventure. Oh, that's interesting. I just... I want to take a look at a pit. Uh, yes, it's for a secret. I want, I want to see something with you guys. Is it possible... For me to move one of these. Oh, no, it's not. That's. Sh oh, well, that doesn't matter. It's the other way you want to go, Tim. Oh, okay, no, there's no, okay, there's no getting back here then, all right. I was thinking maybe it's possible to grab one of these boxes and move it all the way over here to that pit. But it looks like that's not the case. Okay, and we have no more boxes. We can move all the way over there. All right, so there's a secret down here I can't seem to reach. And that leaves us, that's the third, oh, that's a fourth secret. There's one more, and I don't know where it's located, but we are done. Let's go ahead and put the seeds. Into the, I was about to say the seed bed, Shane Berry Basin. That's the water. Is it in the same exact place? No. Oh, additive. That's what it was called as well, Tim. Where does it go? Looks like we need a valve as well for that. Hmm. I don't see it. Quest item. Where does it? Where does it go? <laughs> Do I... Ah, okay. Oh, and they have to go in this one. No. That looks like that's saying it. You put it in there. Or does that mean throw? Does that mean throw? That means throw. Okay. So. Um, I 
Ah, uh, what do we do? Okay, so we I think we have to place them here if we want to make any more progress as well, because I don't think either of these doors are opening. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe this... Uh, we have not even been down here. Okay. It seems to me, though, that we're supposed to do something here. This won't work yet. I need all three things in place. The seeds in the soil, the fertilizer in the container, and the irrigation operational. There we go. Okay. Just have to click on, I think it. Does that, would it work on? Oh, we can't even take it out anymore. Okay. All right. Whatever. The seeds are now there. That wasn't so hard. I was just being, I, I was a dumb one. bug. I can't really do anything against that. Um, well, I guess I can. We do have a rifle. It'll just take a while. Oh, that's interesting. You have to wait to charge? Your next shot? Oh, you're, you're a lot easier than I thought you were. I get hit anyway. My goodness, they grow them strong down here in hydroponics. Are we gaining experience points just for hitting enemies? It looked like we were. Okay. This oh! <laughs> I did not even know there was a pit there. Now we get to redo the entirety of the, of the fight again. I did not even see that pit, as was evidenced by my walking right into it. Yeah, we're gaining Fumium by just hitting it. Why? Oh, okay. It's the it's the rifle apparently. How about that? If you really care about your experience points, maybe you want to use the Raider rifle with the assault rig. That's what we're using. Oh, I uh, I can't tell what rig we're using. I think so. There's explosive barrels. Surely nothing bad will happen. They're just here. They just left them here because this was the completely most safest spot for them to have been placed. And that's why they're here. They're not here because we're going to have to have a fight in that room and maybe want to utilize them. Hydroponics guard. See, we're back here again. 
where the plants grow. Who would put explosives in your plants? Plants and explosives do, are not a thing to be combined. I can't think of a single herbalism recipe that needed explosives and herbs. That did not that did not exist at all. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's go this way. This is the way. No, we have not been here yet. Wait, yes, we have been here. This is where you started this from. All right, there's a treasure chest over there I want. I don't know how to get to it. And... Okay, we're going this way and then to the right. Explosive barrels. Please do not kill me. Oh, we have to go downstairs? Water treatment plant. All right, so this looks like a good spot to stop. I know we haven't done much. <laughs> I complain about puzzles, but we're gonna go ahead and take a peek. Uh, sorry, take a peek. We're gonna stop here anyway, because it feels like I've been playing for close to 40 minutes. And this is probably a good spot to stop before we go downstairs and investigate a new location. So, all right, so I'll stop here. I will thank you all for watching, and when we come back, we will see where the stairs go. All right, I'll see you guys then, and I'll look for a, I'll look for secrets probably off screen after all. I don't let you know if I find any, but I may decide to give in and look them up online this time around. All right, in any case, I'll, be, I'll see you next one. Take care, everyone.